simile directly compares two things using the words like and as. I slept like a log. I'm hungry as a horse. Your love is like bad medicine. Exactly. That's Bon Jovi. OK. His hair is awesome. Moving on. Metaphors are different from similes. <laughs> I've been called a germaphobe, but I do find a single sneeze acceptable. It could be caused by dust, allergies, or really whatever nasal irritant floats your boat. However, during flu season, a second sneeze means a plague is upon the land and is every man for himself. Where do you think you're going? Away from you. Why's that? I want to live. I'm not sick. Get back in your seat. No, thank you. You know the rules. You can't leave without a hall pass. May I have a hall pass? No, you may not. Now get back in your seat. Rules are the pillars of society. I love rules. But what benefit are rules to a dead man? Excuse me. Do I look like I'm getting sick to you? You look a little pale. OK, good. That's normal. Now, I understand Sheldon is an exceptional child, all right? But when he willfully disobeys the order of a teacher, there needs to be some consequences here. Oh, we couldn't agree more. What kind of punishment are you thinking? Well, Mary, in a case like this, a few days of detention. Really? That seems a little harsh. Oh, detention's no big deal. Now, my principal used to whoop my ass with a paddle. That got my attention. Oh, yeah. Those were the days. Still have mine. Ah. Oh, Spanky. <laughs> had a real nice grip on that thing. Yeah, George, had the equipment manager over at the Astros make this for me. The holes in it cut down on wind resistance. Smart. But these days, you have to have a consent form to whack the kids. I don't know where this world's headed. You ought to get one of those for when Georgie acts up. Like you never thought about going upside his head with a slab of wood. You know, there was a time this thing gave me tennis elbow. Sheldon, come on. Where'd he go? That away.